Yo YouTube, my name's Nick, I'm from the Rocky Crystal. I've um, been painting furniture for about 13 years and I often get asked if I do tutorials. And until now, I haven't. So this is gonna be my first tutorial. I'm in my workshop, there's no fancy lighting. Um, filming on my phone, raw as I would do normally. Um, I'm gonna paint this little pot cupboard and I'm just going to do a little basic one to start with. So it's going to be like a French style, two tone, two colour distress. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to start off with a base coat of old white. And as you can see, I've not sanded it. I'll just give it a quick wipe down, that's it. Uh, no need to sand. I'm going to use Annie's own chalk paint. Um, the paint do its job, which requires no sanding or priming. So, first off, quick coat of old white. So I'm just going to get the base coat down all over. Just one quick coat. Okay, so the first coat's on. Just a quick coat, gone every which way, just to get the paint on. I'm going to let that dry and then we'll come back and I'll show you how I do the second coat. Okay, the first coat's dry. Just apologise if you can hear the rain, it's absolutely peeing down today, typical. Um, but anyway, yeah, the first coat's dry. Now I'm going to put another coat of old white on, but I want this piece to be textured. I want it to look French, I want it to look old French. So, to get the French textured look, now I'm going to stick all the paint on. So we just loading up the brush and I'm just going to stick all the paint on like so so it gets all bobbly the paint's quite thick so it's not going to run and we're just going to just go over like this all over and when that dries it will give a good textured finish Okay, so I've just finished doing the stipple coat. I don't know if you can see how thick it is, but we'll just wait for that to dry and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so the second coat is just about dry. I think it's still a little bit wet, but we're gonna roll with it. Um, next stage is I'm gonna wax it. <clears throat> now I'll explain on the next stage why I'm waxing it, but just going to give it a quick coat of wax. Um, doesn't matter if it's completely covered, but we want like 90% covered. Okay, so I've quickly waxed it all. Now I'm just going to just quickly give it a quick wipe just to take off any excess wax. Nothing too complicated. And then uh, we're going to go with the next coat, which is French linen now. Again, Annie's own. Um, and this is the grey. So we're going to 
over your paint straight over the wax. So literally just been waxed a few seconds ago. And yes, you can paint over wax with only sand. So we'll just put this coat on. Paint it every which way. Get it into all the presses. Okay, so we've put um, one coat of French linen on now over the wax white. Uh, we're going to let this dry and then we're going to do the distressing then the waxing. So I'll just let this dry. Okay, so I've blasted it with the hair dryer. It's pretty much dry now. Now we're going to distress it now. When people think of distressing, they think of sandpaper, just give it a quick sand. but. We're going to use water. We're just going to spray the whole thing. I think with water you get a better, you can get it where you want it, whereas with sandpaper it can be a bit scratchy and you can't control it as much. So we're just going to just gently rub the areas that we want to expose the old white underneath. And the reason I waxed it is because I'm not really letting it dry properly. Um, you know, I should really leave it to dry properly, but I'm just blasting it with a hairdryer for the sake of the video. So I don't want the wood to come through. Although it doesn't matter if the wood does come through. I mean, a little bit's just come through there, but that's good. It just adds to the overall effect. So the wax just protects it a little bit more. And all that thick white paint that we put, all them little bubbles and bumps, they're all starting to show through where we want them to. And if we want some wood to come through, right there, it all adds to the effect. And just gently rub. Where the handle is, that's going to get loads and loads of use. So I'm just going to give that a quite a heavy distress, and I want some of the wood to come through. Because you think how many times someone would have opened this cupboard over the years. I've just gone round and done the whole thing. You probably can't see on the camera, but I will take some pictures and close up so you can see later. Now we're just going to let it dry and then we'll play with some black wax. Okay, I'm just going to show you close ups. I'm not sure if you can see it in this bad light, but you can see the white coming through. It looks quite uh, sort of rustic. French looking natural around the handle. Hopefully you can see it. Right, so now I'm going to do a little bit more sort of distressing um, and that's with the wax. But before you use any coloured wax or black or dark wax, you've got a clear wax first. The clear wax is the sealer and the black or the brown wax is decorative. So I'll just go ahead and wax this quickly.
Okay, so it's been completely waxed. I'm just going to rub off the excess. And now we're going to put some black wax on. You should probably really have two brushes, one for clear, one for black, but I've only got one at the moment. So I've got black wax. And I want it to act like dirt sort of thing. So in these grooves around the edges, that's where I'm going to aim for. And I can put loads on like that. And you can, oh my God, all the dark green there. that get it into all the holes in the corners Again, should use a separate brush, but I'm not with clear wax. And then you just go over the whole thing, spreading it all about the black wax moving. Make sure you're getting all the creases and corners. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And I'm going to put the handle back on. I've just got to wax the sides because I didn't do them. Um, and then for the top, I might film a quick tutorial in a minute on how I would do a green faux marble top. But um, I don't know if I'll do that yet. We'll see. But I'll take some pictures of it and um, I'll put some close ups in so you can see it better. So hopefully you've maybe learnt something or got something out of this video. It's my first video, so I apologise for the bad light, the bad sound, but it is what it is. Um, you can find me on Instagram, The Rocky Crystal Interiors. Like and subscribe if you want, you don't have to, but yeah, thanks a lot guys.